Hello friends, today we will learn how to capture area of a window, either it's a browser or application. Well, we know very well that uh, I am using automation anywhere platform and it's a good command of this platform. Well, let's start. So here I am creating a bot and naming it as OCR capture area. And let's find the command where it is. And in this our example, we will try to capture area from our from a PDF document. So here is the document and let's start. So here firstly I will we have to create variable or in another way we have to find which documents we want to read so just i have refreshed and here i can see that uh, which one i have to i want to read so here we can see in our drop down that pdf architect 6 back introduction dot pdf this document we are going to read selected and all this Required information is captured here, and also we have in this command this resize window option. So, what it will do, it will just resize at very first and then it will start reading the document. So, window size of this uh, document will be 800 by 600, and then now we will capture area. So, yes. So we are just trying to read this part. So only that part will be read. And uh, yes, we are able to see coordinates of our dragged drawn rectangle. And to exit without saving or cancel this action, we can use skip and right click to save and exit. So I'm doing right click. And here we are able to see that uh, our bot or platform is capturing the area. Yes, we it's done and uh, fine. And here we are using as the English local. And let's assign this to a variable which is prompt assignment. And now we will print the same one in our message box. So prompt assignment yes it's done so now whatever we have captured it will print in our message box so let's run our bot so whatever we had dragged we are able to read successfully that is sap are by three documents introduction to batteries and uh, since it's an ai type of application internally it's the ai is working artificial intelligence so somewhere you can get minor differences like in my case i am we are able we are here able to see that introduction to batteries is there and here is introduction to bats so that's are expected Well, in our real time, actually, we should not read our documents in that way because we cannot keep it open our document. So, firstly, using some other commands, we should open our PDF document and then capture area. And accordingly, we should close that document. This is a general practice. So, we will use here our application command and it will first open our document and then it will read from then will capture area from ocr command using ocr command so here we can see that uh, it's uh, our application is here architect.cxc and the application is here 
and this information that is buff information is our document file so same one we will read from this we will open our document using our application command so let's browse where the exe file is there so here we have three options three three fields that is firstly we have to open our application second we have to provide our folder where the document is there and the third is the document's name so let's browse it we have c drive inside c drive program files then pdf architect 6 and exe file so we got our exe file and now here we have our documents and we are copying the path here yes so So this program will open our document and accordingly we should close also. So let's see our window close command. Let's use our windows close command. And here it is. Let's again find the variable. Here we will get our document. Just it is in this here. So now we are saving it. Our bot is saved and now we are closing our document here and also sometimes it takes uh, it takes some time to internal arrangement while applications so we will just increase some time here that is 15 second so that it will it will wait for some time and then when everything will be set it will start reading so let's start so Saved. Now we need to bot. So our bot started running, second application, then open document, and now it started reading, we have waited 14, 15 seconds, and after that it will start reading our captured area. Yes, and we are able to see that captured area is red. So in summarization, here using our application command open program file we have open we are opening our our applications and providing this optional fields to open what documents we want we are in first starting path we have provided documents folder locations and in second that optional field parameters we have provided the documents name and here we are capturing our area that's fine and now we can see that resize window is there so we can also change our size here window size and uh, accordingly changing text will be different because our window size is different so with the same one we will see something different in our captured area so let's see so now i have uh, moved it its size increased, width is increased. So let's see what difference we are going to encounter. Starting our bot. Yes, it is resized now. Wait it for some time. Oh, 
and then it started reading so i hope this one back is is little bit we are not getting complete one and i think in next if you will increase more width then it will miss all this right parts earlier it was introduction to baps over we there but now it's only bap so we will retry and see so let's make it 1600 and we will see again So when the size increased, percent. Now let's see if this time what we are reading. Yes, this time we are only able to read the upper part that is sub R three document introduction. That's good. So, so this resize window is new feature added to this command. and uh, as we can see here it's written that it can improve our bot accuracy so in whichever conditions we are capturing area in that condition with that in that window size we will be able to read that's good so i hope this video is useful for you thanks for watching